Hi, this is Lynn, and welcome to another Persuasion Bite, bite-sized tips on persuasion that you can use right away. Don't you love it when you have those flashes of insight where you've been confronting a problem and suddenly a new and novel solution appears? Guess what? There are actually some things that we can do to foster this happening in our brain, our brain creating insights. Let's begin with how your brain comes up with insights in the first place. When you're confronted with a problem, here's something really cool. Your right hemisphere of your brain knows about this problem several seconds before it becomes alive in your conscious mind, which is cool. But what happens is that when your conscious mind becomes aware, the executive function in your left prefrontal cortex takes over. And what it does is it starts looking for those tried and true solutions that you've used in the past because your brain really doesn't want to work that hard. And if it doesn't have to come up with a new thought, hey, so much the better. So you spend initially, when you're looking for insights, a lot of time in your left brain. And if you're not coming up with good solutions there, here's what happens next. There's something called your anterior cingulate cortex. And this sits on top of the corpus callosum, which is the band of fibers that connects the left brain and the right brain. So the anterior cingulate cortex decides, let's cast a wider net and let's through some of the ideas, usually oddball ideas, that are bubbling around in your right brain. And suddenly those things come to fore and that's a lot of times where we come up with insight. So here's good advice for us. If you're struggling with a problem and you feel like quitting, don't because what you need to do is stick with it just a little bit longer so your brain opens up the passageways for the ideas in your right brain to come through and create those insights. What can we do to foster a good environment for having insights? First, if possible, don't do it on a deadline. I need to come up with a new idea by 3 o'clock today. Because what happens is that the noise in your left brain about meeting the deadline takes over everything and you never get to the point where your anterior cingulate cortex can cast a wider net for those ideas in your right brain. So if possible, when confronted with a problem, start thinking about it well before you need to have the insight. Second, put yourself in a place where there are no distractions. There are no emails to answer, no phone calls, no computers, because what happens is that when you are interrupted, you go back to the executive function, you go back to the left brain. It shuts off your right brain. And that's not what you want to do. Because frankly, what happens in your brain is that when you are on the road to insight, the vision in your left eye, which is connected to your right brain, actually gets dimmer because it wants to prevent additional stimulus from distracting your brain, your right brain, from working on these problems and coming up with these oddball ideas. Go where there will be no distractions. Next, pay attention to what kind of environment you're in. In other words, for some of us, it's closing our eyes, which is once again mimicking that idea of limiting the sensory input coming into your right brain. Sometimes it's being in a dark room, or sometimes it's being in an expansive setting where lots of things are available to you when the horizon is broad and that engages your right brain. If you need to come up with insights, do these three things. Because when you get both your left brain and your right brain working together, you'll come up with those novel ideas that will then help you become the most persuasive person in the room. Thanks for watching.